Show me Medusa. Dear friends, I bid you welcome. I hope the night was not too short. Your Eminence, Duchess, Monsieur de Richet, allow me to introduce our new guests. They arrived during the night. Johann Christoph von Wollner, Minister of Religious Affairs and close aide of very Frederick cool. William II, King of Prussia. Napoleon Bonaparte, Lieutenant of the French Revolutionary Army. And Jacques Peru, French Revolutionary Tribunal Judge. Unfortunately, my friends, Lord Mortimer will not be joining us this morning, but he should be with us later. So, let us begin. What is Mortimer playing at? He tells me to come urgently and he sends no one to meet me? Of course. Oh, God. I did it. <laughs> Peru looks totally out of place here. He's counting the ten sets of cutlery around each plate. The man is completely yes. lost. Yes. Thank you again ah. for the wine, your eminence. It is served every day at the king's table. I am delighted to hear it. Volner and Piaggi seem to be getting along well. My dear Johan, how are you? Glad to make landfall at last. And yourself? Very well. And your husband? He's poorly. The French Revolution gives him terrible headaches. Oh, I understand. I shall feel better too, as soon as the situation is settled. If by chance the French crisis is emulated in Berlin, there will always be a refuge for you in London, my dear. Your offer does you honor, anyway. But London is much closer to Paris than Berlin. Beware. The French are capable of sailing up the Thames straight to the Houses of Parliament. Oh, my friend, I am shaking in my clogs. <laughs> <laughs> Is the wine to your liking? Very uh, much so, it just Bradley. cut to her like, completely stone faced. Amazing. Absolutely. If I'm not mistaken, this is not Lord This game's Mortimer's getting pretty dull already. It is yours. In his absence, I have taken the liberty of making a slight deviation from the rule, but I count on your discretion. <laughs> Don't worry, I appreciate the same great varieties as you. I remember the last time we tasted that nectar here at this table. The finest minds of the century were present. And the last time we drank it, the orphanage in Bloomsbury was still in ruins. Would... would you repeat that? Oh, well, uh, I put some small effort into the works. The orphanage reopened just before Christmas. The bedrooms, <laughs> washrooms, and the classrooms had all been refurbished. I... I don't know what to say. <laughs> you have given the girls a wonderful Christmas gift. Thank you. I made a promise. Now it is done. <laughs> oh, fuck. <sighs> Keep putting my controller down. It's the first time I've ever seen her so moved. No. Just mentioning that orphanage broke right through Emily's hard shell. <laughs> Is everything all right? Yes, thank you. I had a moment of absence, but here I am again. Oh, dear. Mm. <laughs> uh... What do you think of Volner? The Prussian king is his puppet. I find it hard to believe the king of Prussia is so weak. Be careful. Volner is as influential as he is dangerous. You seem to know each other well. We used to work together. I see. Not really. What you do? Have you any information on this Napoleon? <laughs> yes. He's certainly well connected and in high places. Surprising. No one appears to know him. No one knows me, and yet here I am. Quite so. He's immune to conviction. That's nice. Monsieur de Richet? It would seem we have common interests. Could we speak in private, please? Please, <laughs> Philip. Trying to eat here. Fuck. Mm. 
Lord Mortimer and the Golden Order, through your mother, have concluded a financial agreement. Stay composed, Louis. I'm listening. An agreement for cannons. Lord Mortimer assured me that you are to take over the project on behalf of your mother. You must know that I am deeply sorry about our disappearance, but I must validate the deal urgently if I want to be able to organize things properly. I haven't seen Lord Mortimer yet. I'm afraid I'll be unable to answer your questions. He assured me that you could replace your mother during her absence. I appreciate his confidence, but still, this is a bit hasty. But please continue. Of course, but I need to know if I can count you among my allies. Well, of course. Napoleon, how competent and you are. That, I have a little question for you. Don't use conviction. The agreement stipulates an aid of 50,000 Louis d'or for 200 cannon. Let's just check him out quickly. Uh, who the fuck is this? Bonaparte. This is immune to conviction. I don't know what his weakness is. Fine. Um, let's make that one free and do it. If you used four consumable items during a single quest, or consumed a noxious element, dialogue timer is no longer visible. <laughs> I need another golden elixir. No. I've only just taken over the affair. The agreement will be considered null ah, and void until we've gone through it together. Is that clear? All right, you seem to know what you're doing. I have one last question I would like to pose to you. We don't know each other yet, you and I. And I need to make sure that we both share the same vision for the future of France. Given the hard times that have befallen our beautiful country, what do you think it would take to restore its uh, luster? Uh... That one? I think what France is lacking today is a truly strong leader ready to govern her. Someone who will restore her luster, who will propel her forward so once again she becomes a proud nation respected by all. A man capable of both rebuilding the country from the inside and, at the same time, developing exterior relations. Someone with a vision, I think. The right person still remains to be found. You're right, my friend. I hear your words and I agree. Monsieur de Richer. I am reassured. I am very happy to have met you. Lord Mortimer was right to put his trust in you. I hope to work with you in the very near future. I would like to thank you for your support by offering you this ah, a book. gift. Hmm. Reflections on the revolution in France. Monsieur Bonaparte, I thank you for this gesture and please know that I too am delighted to have met you. My friends, I would like to say a few words, please. I would like to thank Lord Mortimer and you, Sir Holm, for bringing us all together here. Those of us for whom it is not the first time here, like me, are all trembling in sweet anticipation of the arrival of our host. For the rest, I would like to reassure you that Lord Mortimer always has a few surprising projects to propose. <laughs> but I can assure you that each and every one of us has always benefited from them. <laughs> the last time I came to this place, Lord Mortimer offered to help me in my electoral campaign for the presidency of the United States. And it is imminently clear that his support was an invaluable aid to us. We are here among like-minded people. So let us put aside the conflicts in which some of our nations find themselves at present. So I raise my glass in honor of you all, my new and old friends. I trust you shall not be disappointed, Mr. Washington. Uh. Oh, I missed it. Right, we shall meet again tomorrow. Damn it. All the guests will be present, as well as Lord Mortimer, I hope. Until then, I trust you will find plenty to keep you amused. Okay, that's the third part of episode one done. Man, like the... 
the traits and stuff are quite interesting and the dialogue choices are, are neat. But fuck me, the story is very, very boring so far. I don't know why, it's just not interesting. Ooh, two levels. Eight skill points, hell yeah. Um, what do I want? Psychology is quite useful. Mm, I don't want to do that one yet. Let's get that one up. Is there anything else really close? Let's do that one. Um, vigilance. Questioning. Let's do that one. And then get two points into logics next level. Good. All right, let's recap. Before dinner, I was going to investigate my mother's message. I've got to find the place where all eyes size you up. Uh, I do have a book to read. I've got this one. I have many books, though. Find the place mentioned by your mother. Okay. I'm actually going to have to, like, look around to try and find, like, raw jelly and shit. Uh, hello, do you hate me? Well, your eminence, do you still have any room left? Ah, my son, the sin of gluttony is the most difficult of all. I don't think he hates me. Nevertheless, what a charming moment we have had together. I'm delighted I was able to talk to Mr. Von Volner. We hadn't spoken to each other for an eternity. Yes, I noticed that your eminence knew a fair number of people at the table. The benefit of age, my son. This isn't my first invitation to Lord Mortimer's. You will see, it's the perfect place to make new friends. Indeed, I noticed that you and Mr. Bonaparte had already begun. Ah, uh, I adapt quickly to local customs. It's what I was taught. <laughs> and you are right to do so, my son. But tell me, have you had any news of your mother since your arrival? <sighs> Alas, still nothing minutes, but I still haven't been able to meet Lord Mortimer. Do not worry. It is typical of him. What can I say? Lord Mortimer is a very busy man. I should think you are beginning to worry. Uh, no, not really. To tell you the truth, not really. You are right. Be positive. Perhaps Sarah is in the company of Lord Mortimer and they will both turn up shortly. <laughs> but while I have you with me, I... I have a question for you. Well, go ahead, Louis. What can I do for you? If I said to you, where all eyes size you up, would it mean anything to you? I don't know if it's the place you're looking for, Louis, but it makes me think of the portrait gallery. There's a gallery here? Can you tell me where to find it, please? Of course. Just go through the door at the end. It will lead into the library. Continue all the way through, and you'll end up in the gallery. You'll see it, Louis. When you get there, you'll know. Thank you very much, Your Eminence. On that last word, then I shall leave you to fight your demons. See you later, Your Eminence. See you later, my son. So it doesn't seem to have mattered that I opened the letter before? It doesn't really seem to care. <laughs> nice. What was that one do? No. The lock is surrounded by a triple circle. A lot of keys. There was one in... Earlier, I had like five circles. Uh, I guess. Let's just go to the gallery. Oh. Should get subterfuge. Oh, a key, maybe. Key with an occult earth symbol. Uh. Probably not gonna open that one, unless it opens this one. No, that one actually doesn't take a key. I'll find it at some point. To the library. Holy shit. It's quite the library. Atrus, the Miller brothers. Mother expressly forbade me from reading it. Honey, the remedy of the gods. Oh. I didn't I thought I was moving the ladder. A few pages out of a ruble. 
a few pages out of a root ball. <laughs> Bam, to the gallery. Ah, the Last Supper. I look for snakes. Where all eyes size you up. Chances are, that's the room my mother spoke of. And she also spoke of a Medusa. Should I go and try to find the creature now? Uh, sure. Okay, well, we found the place. Now we find the Medusa. As well as some items. A drachma. A drachma. Okay, they don't open few. Also, that's that's way too much to have to look around. Christ crucified by Velasquez. Look, someone's left a note there, reserved for the Duke of Alquidia. Yeah. Is this one actually called Last Supper? The Last Supper. Yes. By Leonardo da Vinci. The last day before his crucifixion, Jesus announces that he will be betrayed by one of his disciples. That is what happened, yes. Okay, it must be down that middle bit. The song of Roland. Roland feeleth his death is near, his brain is oozing by either ear. With his brain oozing, it's already remarkable that he can feel anything. Indeed. some dogs in here. Oh, is it going to be like a little statue or something? Maybe I've already missed a little Medusa statue. Is there nothing in here? Damn it. Oh, Medusa. Find out what mother was trying to do with her. The Medusa. A hero armed with a sword. Hmm. A hero with a lantern. And the last one holding a shield. I'll stake my life on it. All the statues form a single scene together. The poor devils are about to face the beast. Let's give them a helping hand. What? Okay. The origin of myths, a reinterpretation of legendary creatures. Just what I need. The text is in French on the left hand page and in Latin on the right hand. Let's find the chapter on the Medusa. <laughs> I do not have that. Hang on. This version is significantly different from the regular one. It recounts how men have always belittled women in society. Harpies, mermaids, the chimera, the hydra, the gorgons. Ah, the section on the Medusa. While some of the heroes divert attention from the gorgon, the hero with the sword brandishes his weapon at the Medusa. Okay. So the lantern probably distracts it. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do with it. Oh, I see. So that will cost nothing. Great. Let's think. To vanquish the beast, the statues have to be lined up in a specific order. What can the shield be for? To protect its holder? Why not? But in that case, what's the lantern for? Step back and take a second, Louis. Be logical but open-minded. Think outside the box. Nobody said a statue has to have only one use. I wonder if the lantern was to distract the Medusa. This shield can both protect the holder and also reflect the light from the lantern to distract the beast. In other words, I'll have to make an angle of 90 degrees between the lantern and the Medusa by turning the shield to face the sword. Oh, If Mortimer's the one who thought of all this stuff, then honestly, he must have a screw loose. Crazy idea, but worth a shot. Okay, let's rotate. Toward the sword. And 
and I've probably got to move... Well, I've got to move the sword guy to facing Medusa. And then... Do I rotate the Medusa towards the lantern? Uh, towards the shield? She'll be distracted. And then I also need to change the lantern to aim towards the shield, I think. That should do it. Alright. <laughs> What's it doing? It's opening the door in my room. Or the fireplace behind me. Could be that one. <laughs> Rah! For Pete's sake, Emily! For Pete's you sake! The pants off me. Don't ever do that again. Well, keep your nose out of my business, then. I don't know what you're talking about. Stop fooling around and tell me what you're doing here. Uh... I've discovered a hidden message from my mother. She explains how to find the secret room. Something must have attracted her here, so I've come to check it out. And you? What brings you here? My, you're curious. Let me guess. Go on then, impress me. Um... You're spying on Mortimer, right? Everyone is spying on Mortimer. Shall I take that for a yes? Take it as you please, but I wouldn't be surprised if all the guests were around here somewhere searching the manor. Well, no matter. I'll tolerate your presence this one time. Now, since you're here, make yourself useful. Look around on your side. I'll do the same on mine. And if you find anything of interest, let me know. Oh, yeah. In your dreams. <laughs> At your service, madam. In your dreams, what's-her-face. 